Hello and welcome back to the channel. As always, I'm your host, Morgan. Now, this week we're having uh, Christmas and the holiday season and all that stuff popping up right now. And we need to talk about something serious. Oh, yes. Thank you, Chewy. Um, we need to talk about a phenomena that happens every year around the holidays when kids want a puppy or a kitten or basically a pet that they may or may not have the attention span for once it reaches a certain age or they find out how difficult it actually is. So this week we're talking about why you should not give pets as Christmas gifts. While it may seem like a lovely gesture to give that special someone a new pet to help enrich their life or to give that kid that puppy that they've been begging for for months at this point, and it may seem like there's almost no downside because that pet gets a forever home, that person gets a companion, the reality of the situation of giving a pet as a gift is usually not that simple. A lot of times when pets are given as gifts, people don't really think about the consequences moving forward. Sure, that puppy's cute now, that kid is going to be super happy on Christmas, but it's a lot more work than they realize. Usually, if a pet's going to be given as a gift, you probably haven't talked to the person because it's supposed to be a surprise. And pets are a big commitment. And there's this phenomenon that after the holidays, shelters see a massive increase in the amount of surrenders. And a lot of this is because of these impulse gifts given, not just to children, but to other adults as well. The bottom line being that a pet should never be given as a gift, unless, of course, the, you have thoroughly disgusted, that person knows you're getting them a pet as a gift, and it is something that has been discussed and that everyone involved is prepared for the consequences of. Now, the thing is, I get that on Christmas Day, it's really great to see the joy in someone's face when you get that puppy or kitten or other little lovely critter, but in the long run, if you haven't gone through the research and aren't prepared to keep that pet for the entirety of its lifetime, and you're not prepared for it to get big, then it's really not something that is a good decision. And I do not support giving pets as gifts. One thing that I see regularly are the ads from different pet stores and things advertising like small pet sales and cage deals especially during the Christmas season and it is a little upsetting especially when you're talking about creatures like reptiles that can live 20 plus years now if you're getting your pet say or excuse me Getting your child a pet for Christmas that's going to be living 20 plus years. I don't know that your eight-year-old is really aware of the extent of the commitment that they are getting themselves into by opening that gift. And not to say that they're not going to make a lovely pet parent, but the unfortunate reality is that in a very large percentage of these impulse gift purchases, the animal within a 12 month period is going to end up in a shelter, a rescue, rehomed, or unfortunately end up with a loss of life. And this can massively be avoided if we just stop giving pets as gifts. Pets are not gifts. Pets are a lifetime commitment. Even if that pet isn't there for your entire lifetime, you should be there for theirs. And while I understand the desire to make someone that happy and to make a pet that happy around that time, there is so much more that should be considered, like your lifestyle, the pet's required lifestyle, the husbandry, and a lot of times that is not considered around the holidays when you are getting the pet as a gift. And 
I do think that most of them qualify as impulse purchases. And while you might be sitting there thinking, but, oh, I researched this. Like, okay, well, say you're getting your significant other a bird. Have they researched the care that they're going to have to put into the bird? No, they have not. You have done the research for them. Do you even know that they're realistically prepared to take care of that bird? Some species of birds live pretty much as long as a human being. What's going to happen to that bird when they pass away and that bird is still alive? These are a lot of questions that need to be considered when you're talking about going into pet ownership, which is why pets should never be given as gifts. Pets are a big commitment. It doesn't matter how small the animal is. Even a hamster or a goldfish is a big commitment. And if you are not the one that's going to be taking care of it, you should not be surprising someone with something that's going to create more work for them. Again, there is a little asterisk here. And if you have discussed that thoroughly with someone and you guys have come to the conclusion together that they were already going to get this pet anyway, they're prepared to take care of it. And your contribution is the financial contribution to bring it home to them as your gift to them. That is an entirely different situation. The point being, please don't surprise people with pets. Pets are a big commitment and shelters are already overstressed and in the weeks and couple of months following the holidays, it only gets worse because of so many people surrendering pets they were not prepared to take care of or that puppy got a lot bigger than they were expecting a lot faster and they just can't deal with it anymore or the kid lost interest in whatever pet they brought home to it, which... It's unfortunate, but that is the thing that kids do sometimes. And if there's a danger of your child losing interest in the thing you got them for Christmas, perhaps you shouldn't get them a living thing. Or you should get them something that you're genuinely jazzed about too. So it's not going to matter if your kid is no longer into it because you're into it. And I know that this hasn't been that much of a happy, cheery one today, but this is an important thing. Christmas is a few days away and... It's a message that needs to be heard. I did a similar video with more statistics and things around um, Easter time about Easter rabbits. And this is pretty much on the same line of discussion as that. So I do hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I do hope you have a wonderful holiday season or lack of holiday season if you don't celebrate holidays. But no matter what, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, what have you, and happy Merry December. I'll see you all next time. Thank you again for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell if you would like to see more. And if you'd like to follow me on any of my other social medias, the links are down in the description below. Don't forget to check out thereptilegoth.com for all of my articles and blog posts. If you found any value in this video and you would like to help support the channel, please check out my Patreon page. That link is also in the description down below. And a special thanks goes out to my Diamond Dragon patron, Diane V. What you're doing is really helping me fund a dream here. I will see you guys all in the next one.